What is up guys, it's HD Gaming here and today we're going to be talking about how to maximize your Poke Coins as much as possible and possibly triple or double the amount of Pokemon Coins you are getting. So let's get right into it. So in Pokemon Go there are only two ways currently on how to get Poke Coins, through defending gyms or through buying Poke Coins. So we're obviously going to be focusing on how to defend gyms easier so you're, get, so you're going to be able to maximize the amount of Poke Coins you get. So there are a few factors that come into play when we talk about maximizing Pokecoins. The first one is the location of the gym that you want to control. Most of the time, the urban cities such as New York, in LA, in London, or Amsterdam, or Paris are really packed with trainers. So trying to conquer more than one gym at the same time will be insanely hard. So what I advise you to do is to go to a city or town that isn't as populated so you can beat the gym and put your Pokemon there to rest there in peace. The second factor is the number of Pokemon that are in the gym. If you are traveling alone, it's going to hinder you while you try to control more than one gym. Traveling with three or four people that are in the same team or level as you will help loads. If your friends are higher levels, then that is even better. The point of traveling in groups is because it will increase the amount of Pokemon in the gym. So when the opposing teams try to bring the gym down, they must beat the whole gym as many times as there are Pokemon in the gym. So for example, if there's a gym full of 5 Pokemon in Team Mystic, Team Valor or Team Instinct must beat the gym 5 times in order to conquer the gym. This will definitely give you enough time to go to another gym and conquer that one, so you can get double or triple the amount of Pokecoins if you're able to make it to a third gym. The one thing that you must assume when controlling gyms with multiple people is that the prestige of the gym is high enough to put 5 people in the first place. If not, you can easily battle your own gym's Pokemon to increase it in prestige. The fastest way to increase prestige of a gym is to battle the Pokemon in your gym with a lower CP Pokemon in your club. So essentially if you fight with a higher CP Pokemon, you will get 100 XP for every Pokemon you beat, whereas when you fight with a lower CP Pokemon than the ones at the gym, you will actually get 500 XP for each one that you beat. After you uh, are able to increase your prestige of your gym and you reach about level 7 or so, uh, try not to go higher than level 7 because then you'll need uh, much more XP just to get to level 8 and by that time you're not going to be able to hold the gym for that long. So the last factor in terms of maximizing your Poke Coins is finally the distance between two or three gyms that you're going to want to go to. You must pick the, your gyms carefully as you may conquer a gym, run to another gym, but the first gym you conquered has already been conquered by someone else by the time you conquer the second gym. Hopefully that wasn't confusing. Trust me, it's happened to me before. So make sure the distance of your gems are really, really close. And that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. If you guys like the tips, give the video a thumbs up. If you guys are new around here, subscribe and turn on those notifications to be updated immediately. Remember, I upload daily, so make sure those notifications are on. Other than that, I'm out, guys. Peace.